Okay, we'll show uh, these uh, quickly. Uh, the installation of Blender and MBDyn. Uh, we'll build a parametric model, show how to graphically display that model, including uh, representing the precise coordinates, run and animate the model, dress it up with nicer objects, and then show a plot of the time history of an object. Um, we'll start by uh, downloading the uh, add-in or the add-on from uh, GitHub, Blender and MBDyn. Just click on this uh, download uh, zip. Once that's downloaded, we can go into a command line to start up Blender. From here, installing the add-on is uh, straightforward. Just click on File, User Preferences, um, open the Preferences, and then Install from File. We'll go to the Download folder. From there, look for Blender and MBDyn. Double-click, and there we are. Then we click here to uh, enable it. And if you'd like to uh, keep it, just put uh, Save user settings, click on that and uh, you'll save the uh, add-on. Now from here we have um, all of these uh, uh, elements through how to run the simulation. We'll start here, this is an object and you'll see we're representing all the key clicks up here so I can go quickly through and it would be possible hopefully for uh, a novice to view this and go through the same steps. So we will uh, um, duplicate this and then we'll, uh, from here, this object, we will uh, make that into a body. We'll duplicate that body, grab it, move it here. Now we have two objects. We'll take these two, make them part of a reference frame. Uh, so we'll go here to frames, add a reference frame. Now you'll notice we have both a linear and a velocity vector and an angular velocity vector. Um, those are the same vectors. So what we need to do uh, to add some angular velocity is to uh, uh, duplicate this first one. So now we have uh, two. Uh, the first one is zero, zero, zero. This one we will edit it and make it zero, zero and make it plus one in the x3 or z axis. Then go back to the reference frame, edit it, and you'll see we can now select that new um, uh, and if we wanted to edit that new vector we could just click on this little box and there we see it's uh, zero, zero, one. So that's our reference frame. Now we can just simply create the simulation, uh, add an initial value simulation here. If you have an executable at some place other than MBDyn, you can uh, t uh, enter that uh, starting from root if you like. Um, click OK. We need to save our MBDyn file and we'll save it, or excuse me, our Blender file. We'll save it in a temp folder. And now we're ready to run the simulation. Uh, down here, we'll run the simulation. Once the simulation now has run, we can animate the objects. You can see we have 10,000 time steps, um, so we can just choose to pick in, let's say, the first 110. Every 110 steps we'll um, download, and then Control A to animate, and there we go. The objects are flying off. Watch this. So they're in a reference frame that's spinning, and there they go. Now. Next, what we'll do is add a, a rod between these two uh, with, um, let's see here, we're going to do an add joint rod. It has a linear constitutive. All right, then we can, same thing, run the simulation, uh, animate the objects, same step, and you'll see now they kind of uh, hang together because they're on an elastic band. All right, so next what we'll do is take this same uh, collection and we'll duplicate it. So we have our two objects connected by a rod in a reference frame. We'll duplicate those and then grab them, let's say move them here. Now if we do a uh, run the simulation, uh, it's not a big deal, we'll animate the objects, same thing. And if we look at it from the top, we'll see they each are in their own reference frame, off they go, and they duplicate one another. That's pretty nice. Next, let's say that you want to look at the difference for uh, different elastic bands. Well, right now, both rod 1 and rod 0, they have the same elastic band. We can go to our constitutives, take this, duplicate it. Now we have another one. Uh, they both, um, we'll edit this, they both have a stiffness of 1. Let's give this one a stiffness of 10. Now once we've done that, we need to change the, uh, the rod, so we'll change this to um, edit this, 
and we'll change this to this uh, other linear elastic, which again, if we edit it, we'll see that has a stiffness of 10. Now we can um, go uh, click here, recreate our simulation, run it, and now that we've run it, we can animate it, and we'll see that these objects now the ones that we gave a stiffer band you see they kind of stay together pretty nice right okay so next is uh, well let's look at how to see precisely where the objects are located um, if we click here on uh, objects uh, we'll see in this uh, display the location and rotation of every object and as you'll see our initial reference frame was located at the origin with no rotation this reference frame we just arbitrarily moved it to this location we could rotate it you can either rotate or move by changing these numbers like that or you can do it by uh, just grabbing them and moving them so um, the last item well two more one is that we want to show how to dress this up well blender has multiple uh, layers we've been working in the first layer we're going to now uh, shift and uh, click on the second layer so we have both of them. We'll add an object which um, Blender has this uh, um, object which is really just for testing. It's called Monkey. right? So we're going to take Monkey, grab here. We're going to uh, uh, make uh, several copies of Monkey and we'll have Monkey uh, go with these four masses. So we'll take this first one, take this, and then uh, control link and we'll link the animation data. We'll take this one and we'll link go there and we'll control link that animation data. And we'll take this one and that one and control link that animation data. We'll take this one and that one and control link that animation data. Now as we move those heads move and if we only want to show the uh, monkey heads without the uh, objects well we just click on this one item. There we just have those heads. We go to the top and we animate and there they go. So you can see the difference of course one having the uh, the uh, stiffer band and the other having uh, not. Okay so let's see here. There we go. Just animate one more time. Alright so there they go. And uh, then the next uh, is simply to show the uh, uh, there is a representation of the position and uh, orientation of every object. For that, uh, a simple way to go is to look at the animation screen. And here, we can see in this window, wait a minute, let's go here. No, oh, here we go. In this window, we can see the uh, rotation and we can see the position. So um, if we'd like to just uh, look at the uh, location, we can close these off and then we're just looking at the location we can look at the location for or position for any of the objects so that's a que quick uh, run through um, let's see here um, yeah so that's a quick run through I hope that's been helpful uh, I believe we uh, addressed everything here slideshow um, we installed we built a model we duplicated it and then changed the parameters of one relative to another, showed a graphical display, precise coordinates, ran and animated, dressed up the model with those heads, and then we showed the plot of the time history. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.